whole project started with the determination that we had to understand the customer better. We'd been through the recession, it felt like the whole landscape had changed. And so to that end, we sent out thousands of surveys and we set up probably a dozen focus groups. What we found was in the focus groups that safety, especially to first time boaters, uh, was really tied to, to the feeling of being safe. So things like bow rise, the way the boat takes off, uh, is scary to first-time boaters. Um, when the boat goes into a turn, a, sc a scary feeling is that the boat actually tips or yaws in the turn. You know, your car doesn't do that. The other thing is just getting into the boat, right? A typical V-bottom boat, when you step into the boat, it rocks a little bit. You've got to kind of catch your balance. All these things felt unsafe to them because they never experienced it before. And you know, at Bayliner, we have lots of handholds on our boats and the tall gunnels, and, and we thought that was safety. And these were customers who were defining safety on a completely different scale. The first step in our process is really to, to sit down with our design people at Ian Merritt Island. The, the Element is a, is a very innovative product and to bring a product that's very innovative to market in a short time takes a very focused effort. You know initially we, we pulled together a core team of people with very experienced and knowledgeable engineers, designers to ensure that we could go through a, a very rapid concept development process. My initial thoughts for this is really a cool opportunity for design. Uh, it's not that often that you get to try to reinvent a product category, and I thought this presented us with that opportunity. After the initial excitement about hearing about the element, it kind of set in how much work it was going to be <laughs> to create something that was supposed to be so different and so revolutionary. You know, we have some of the best naval engineers in the, uh, in the business, um, in the engineering department as well as uh, in the design department who came together to, to meet this challenge and came up with a few concepts very early on. When I met with Matt and Mike, one of the things that they were asking for was something uh, totally unique to the marketplace. One of the first things I did was I, I took a, a brick of foam Usually we'll carve something out of foam, maybe just to give us, uh, you know, sort of something to put eyes on. And then working with uh, some of the senior design people in CAD, we'll start to flesh out that model. We put together basically a combination of a traditional V-bottom hull right through here and more of a catamaran outside. The hull form is kind of a tri-hull, and what makes it very special is that it allows a great amount of stability both in operation as well as uh, at rest. The other thing that this hull design does is it creates rails almost in the bottom that track very well through the water and keep the boat from wandering as you're going slow or fast. We insisted upon using good engineering principles to validate whether this was something that was going to be viable or not. And we did that by creating a early model uh, of, of a scale model of the hull and running it as a test hull. And when we put that thing on the water, it met all of our expectations when it comes to stability. The hull is like the foundation of a house, right? So you st we start with that. From there, we build onto it. We build the deck. It has an inordinate amount of space for the size of it. In other words, the cockpit is very spacious, uh, surprisingly so. The layout is awesome. The layout feels so big. Um, when we had the mock-up downstairs on the floor, just a foam model of the boat, but full scale, anyone who walked into the boat was like, how big is this? The boat became a vessel for different zones. So we have a forward zone where we kind of have these loungers. You know, we have this middle zone now that we kind of almost dubbed like the hot tub zone. You know, We've got a really nice conversational pit on the inside, but also the exterior styling I think is very fun. It's very energetic, but at the same time, it's more sophisticated than what some of the competition offers. It's amazing how much space we kind of got out of the boat, you know, on such a small scale. Um, the hall helps with that a lot, you know, this, this wide track kind of helps us push the boundaries of what we've ever done before um, in this small size. So now as we near the end of the project, our definition of success has never changed. We go back to those customer profiles. What can we do to lower the barriers of boating and get more people to enjoy this terrific pastime? How do we make it more stable, more safe, easier to maintain, easier to tow, easier to store, easier to afford? We've been successful across the whole spectrum, and I think that's what makes us all so excited. For customers, for us, the Bayliner Element, it really is the start of something new.